North Dakota State men's basketball welcoming in the preseason number one out of the Big Sky, Montana. The Grizzlies return all five starters from last season, a squad that topped the Bison in Missoula. NDSU, of course, looking to flip the script. Brian, Sean, and Irv Inniger there tonight with the call on MeTV. Grizz off to a good start, leading by double digits at some points. First half working it inside out here. They're up 23-11. But the Bison waking up now, and it all starts with good team defense. Bison stepping up, and Corey Brown comes through. The key to grab the block, they return it into points as A.J. Jacobson draws the attention. One of his four assists as he dishes down to freshman Dylan Miller. Carlin Dupree gets the Bison the lead with a great drive to the hoop here. He draws the foul as well, and Bison are in control. Dupree with 13 big points. For the herd, they're up 28-25 at the half. They hold that lead into the second. AJ Jacobson on the dribble. Grizz make him work for it, but he gets the space he needs. Bison up five here. They don't look back. Jacobson with a team high 17. Paul Miller right behind him with 15. Bison picking up the 73-53 win, keeping their home court winning streak alive at 27. They have a shot at 28 Saturday at 1 p.m. when they host North Carolina A&T at Shields Arena. North Dakota men's basketball gearing up for a big return to the Betty Ingolstadt Sioux Center on Saturday. The Fighting Hawks hosting Northern Iowa, who's rolling off a big time win over number one North Carolina last weekend. Yes, that North Carolina. In a rare scheduling, a top tier team traveled to a mid major court, something Roy Williams did for an Iowa native on his team. Not only was the player out with a broken hand, but the Tar Heels fell. 71-67. It's a story of opportunity and flat-out hard work by the Panthers. It's a blueprint North Dakota looks to make their own on Saturday. This puts us on a stage to make, an, make some noise, honestly. It gives us an opportunity to do some. And I mean, of course, it's difficult at times to believe when you have all those major, you, you put it on a number one team and then they go in there and get knocked off and then you think, well, that puts Northern Iowa in a good position. So what if we go in there and knock them off when they come here? And that's just one thing that's very exciting about this week to me. On the personal side of things, this weekend is exciting because Northern Iowa's head coach, Ben Jacobson, is from the Mayville area. He played at North Dakota from 1989 to 93, as well as coached at UND before heading to NDSU to coach under Greg McDermott. He just collected his 200th win at Northern Iowa tonight when the Panthers topped Dubuque 83-63. The Missouri Valley Football Conference handing out their top honors today, none of which are here in Fargo. The full list of those winners, including Coach of the Year, Offensive and Defensive, as well as Newcomer and Freshman of the Year recipients, are all on our website. Bison fans, I have heard you on Facebook and Twitter, at the grocery store, and even at the movie theater on Sunday afternoon. This bracket has you upset. The Valley, as a whole, not happy with being housed together on one side of the bracket. South Dakota State shooting for a rematch with the Bison as they face Montana this weekend. Their head coach, John Stiegelmeyer, adding his two cents on the bracket. It's really easier to prepare for a team you've prepared for uh, the second time around. So uh, just, uh, you know, we get, I think, five teams in and uh, we're all on the same side of the bracket. I think that's, that's a tough scenario. His players not quite as diplomatic, saying it's clear the NCAA doesn't want an All-Valley Championship game again. One more time, SDSU and the Grizz meet this weekend in Montana. We'll have those highlights here on Valley News Live as the winner returns to Fargo on December 5th. Why wow. would they? They didn't have a very good championship game last year, Yeah, right? it was such a yeah, boring game. No. It wasn't yeah, thrilling. No. They didn't fill the stadium. I'm sure they made <laughs> yeah. no money whatsoever. Yeah. None. So, why? Why would yeah, they want why? that again? Mm. Still to come.